there is advantage to having coaches run the group. Now that does happen other places, um, but there's also peer led groups, which are a good low pressure place to start for sure. Mm -hmm. But there are some advantages specifically of having an ADHD coach run a group. We work so hard to be mindful of time. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a thing we have to manage. We're good at rants. Our clients are good at rants. We're good at getting off topic. Yeah. Um, in fact, we've come up with some strategies we are quite proud of to keep things moving yes. along. Yeah. Um, for example, we announce the time between each participant. Mm -hmm. um, so we have an idea. We go in the same order each time. So we don't waste time. Oh, who wants to go next? Yep. Um, and call that in the initiative order. Um, <laughs> And we're well suited to listening and interpreting and, and pointing out why something's hard. Mm -hmm. um, that validation and, piece, yeah. Yeah, but also sometimes understanding the why can take away mm -hmm. some of the power of that inner critic to, mm -hmm. it's just cause I'm bad or dumb or I need to try harder. And yeah. Being, feeling like you're just having things come at you and you're, you are just a victim of them as opposed to going, Oh, okay. Yeah. And then because, and also people with ADHD often need to know the why for things. So when we do know that it's like, oh, I, I can really fight that now because I understand what the heck's going on. Yeah. If it's hard not to go down that, you know, Instagram rabbit hole or whatever your rabbit hole is um, at 2 a.m., maybe it's because you don't have the resources. And so, yeah. So knowing the why can help a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, but also we work hard to celebrate victories because a lot of folks with ADHD, we're not very good at stopping and acknowledging ourselves mm -hmm. and the things that we've it's gotten like, done. Oh, I finally did it. Moving on. Yep. Yep. And, and so then we can feel like we've, we've done nothing. Cause the only thing we've held on to were the things we meant to do that aren't done. Mm -hmm. And so we do stop and celebrate a victory from every participant. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and then we talk about like, oh, okay, this is the issue. We also share a lesson learned. And, and sometimes when people talk about their goals for the week, we can ask clarifying questions to try to mm -hmm. increase the chance for success. Like, you mm -hmm. know, and we make these judgments partly based on how much meeting time is remaining based on how many people have gone <laughs> um, or how, how urgent my gut is yelling at me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't care that we have two minutes left. Uh, there's, a, there's an orange flag. It's a flag. I need to wave it. Now. If it's really two minutes, I'll, I'll say like, if somebody else needs to go, please do so. But I need to ask this question. <laughs> yeah. One of the qualifying questions might be something like, Hey, so this part sounds a little bit ambiguous. Or, mm -hmm. or I just know that I've seen a lot of folks with ADHD really stumble on that particular thing before. Mm -hmm. So I might ask like, specifically, how will this happen? Or what time of the day or something to try mm -hmm. to help people visualize it so that it increases the likelihood it'll actually happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, like sort of changing it, like you were saying before, like iterative, like changing it from when it was before and being aware of like, how often has this come up as somebody's goal? Um, and, 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 and mentioning that as well and saying, okay, so now this week, what is different? What is different about this? Tell us specifically what that is so that you can, you can know that it has that different, better chance of, of succeeding. And another thing that we can do, and this is partially related to time is keeping on topic. So, uh, at, at the beginning, at the very beginning of our meetings, it's sort of, a uh, no holds barred kind of all saw all bets are off but once we're into the meat of it especially once we've had you know the the, the breathing time and the centering time um we are we're pretty pretty darn laser focused not to the point hopefully of being um you know restrictive because you know mentioning things in passing y yes or, <laughs> or like yeah uh, draconian but um but yeah making sure that we 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 heard back we we we, we guide back if we're feeling like okay hang on is this is this really on and that is a skill that we have learned through our uh our profession and because our people like to connect we like to bond yeah um we do open up for for journeymen we open up the meeting zoom about 10 minutes early so that folks can come in and chit chat if they want to yep so it's not like oh you must be you know an automaton allowing that space so that it can happen without it being disruptive to the rest of the, uh, the endeavor. I think that's about it. We hope yeah. that we are bringing something unique as ADHD coaches to our community 
and we are just loving watching it grow and watching our people support each other. Yeah. Nope, not leaving the meeting, just hit record.